Good morning, tent campers. Today, we want to talk to you a little bit about tent camping. Um, some people don't really bring a lot of stuff or they don't know what to bring when they tent camp. So this is about tent camping. Yeah. Anybody can camp in a motor home or a trailer. You have all your, you know, amenities. And then and then and, amenities. And, 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 and amenities. <laughs> you have everything you need usually with you uh, and a camper. But when you tent camp, you got to figure it out. What do, what do you want to bring? So today we want to talk to you a little bit about what we do because we've been tent we've been tent camping for like 35 yeah, plus years. Long time. Very long time. And we made a lot of mistakes, but here you can correct the mistakes that we've already made. So just by seeing what we usually will bring, or sometimes we forget to bring something. We for yeah, we do forget a lot of. We things. still forget. <laughs> but this is just going to show you a good example of what to bring if you want to. You don't have to bring everything. These are just ideas. Yep. Okay, so with tent camping, we we usually bring just this dresser of drawers and we fill it with the things that we anticipate we're gonna need for tent camping. Um, so in this first drawer, obviously we've got a pan up here that's usually inside. Not this pan, it doesn't oh, okay, fit. Oh, a different one, okay. So, you know, first drawer we have deck of cards, things that we probably don't even need. Creamer, you, creamer chocolate, I mean. And this is not medication. Smelly stuff. Just, um, and then. Matches. I, for me, sometimes I have a hard time sleeping, so I just bring a little melaton. Um, then we have our uh, silverware, silverware. And uh, any big, usually it's a There's big There's a sponge food. back there too. Yeah, and a sponge. Hot. You always need hot these because sometimes the fire will get hot and the handle yeah, gets really hot. Yeah, the pot is usually hot. Extra towels. Here's your dishware. Yeah, dishware cups. You have cups. these cheap um, There's some tiny stuff. baby bowls in here, I think, too. Or maybe it's in another drawer. But towels are really important. A lot important. of towels. More just than just one towel, to check. just in case. Um, then down there you yeah, have bottom drawer. Should be a stove. Looks like our stove, yeah, and a, and a few couple other bowls. bowls and more towels. I can't say enough about this. This is the, the easy stove. This particular um, thing will come with us like automatically. It's always full of the stuff we really yeah, need. We just grab it and put it in the car. And yeah, go. for tenting. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can all. We also have a tent trailer that we we put this in too. The go trailer so that is easier to put this in and as we talk about other things you might think that those things can also be put into your basic set of drawers so, we'll talk so let's about talk items. about other items we need for our for yeah. a trip to the mountains or the rim now we talk about the bathroom things first and then we'll go to other the necessities so when you're out there and you got your set up in a dispersed area doesn't have to be a campground but if you are in a campground you have a toilet but if you don't have a toilet you might want to bring one so down here we got this uh, little handy dandy toilet I'm not sure why it's not coming up but it's it's nice we also have a little toilet um, tent it's um it's kind of neat because it just folds up and it folds back down it's not instant it's like a real tent it's got real poles and stuff we also have a nice little sink over here Oh yeah, this is nice. Where you pump it, you wash your hands, you turn it on and off, just like, it's kind of neat. And then you got your towel, you know, for brushing your teeth, washing your face. You know, and this actually works pretty nice. It's almost like a real sink when you're using it. It is. You, really, you it is fill real it sink. up with water. It'll hold. And um, you pump the water up through the faucet. Is it four gallons? Three or four gallons it'll hold. But you just pump it, foot pump it. Yeah. I'm not sure it's if that's. Pretty easy. But we just tie this to a branch and then the water flow comes out. Yep, easy. So that's your toilet. If you want to go number two, you can use these biodegradable um, little bags. And inside the bag is toilet paper, and there's alcohol wipes, and there's also a, it degrades the poo. It's kind of a neat thing to have, and you could just put that inside of this. So that kind of goes with your toilet, because who wants to clean out your toilet after you go number two? Yeah, not me. <laughs> Now about your sleeping arrangements, um, we like to bring our air bed. It's a foam air bed. So you have to bring a tent. This is the three person tent here. But before you lay your tent down, you wanna put a tarp down. We have two tarps in here and we kind of layer it so it's real thick to keep pine needles away from going in. Pine needles will go through your tent. 
So you want to be able to protect it with tarps. So we have it in a little container. This is also a nice um, cushion that you can bring. It's um, it, it helps your air mattress or whatever you might have. We got binoculars in case you're bird watching. Alcohol. If you don't have enough water, bring alcohol. And I'm sure everybody's got a lot of that. Don't forget your bug spray. And then your SPF uh, skin protection. I like to wear long sleeves. Yeah, you, you'll need sunblock. It's just terrible now. Especially for my nose and ears. Yeah, and stuff. it's better than so, burning. You got to have that. We have a little candle lantern that we use as a night light. Yeah, and when it goes out, it goes out. These matches will strike anywhere. It's good to have a box of matches. These lamps are really nice. You pop them up like that, or you can use them as a, a, flashlight. a regular flashlight. They're great. They're great. Especially if there's a pit toilet and you can't see at night. Real easy to have light in there. So when you do have your, your, your fire, you got to have a fire starter. And we just use this as a packing material. You get it in the mail. So that's our fire starter. Um, we do have sleeping bag, right, for our tent? Yes. So sometimes we don't want the sleeping bag because it's not cold enough. Yeah, so we bring that. a blanket and our pillow. Right. Otherwise, we'll, we'll bring our, our sleeping and bag as well yeah. as the blanket. Yeah, sometimes it's just too warm. Like when we go to Phoenix or some of the other mountains or around here when in the summertime, it's just too warm to be in a sleeping bag. Um, this flashlight is nice as a spare because it's a forever flashlight. You just basically push the thing and it, and it runs. It's good to have. Now, if you're in an area where there's bears or you think there's some wild animals or you yeah, might get attacked. Yeah, bears especially, yeah. Or let's say you're in the middle of nowhere and you're by yourself. You're going to want your bear spray. And this particular one is easy to use. Um, you just pull this orange thing off, this tab, and you squeeze. And you can squeeze it. It's got nine seconds, I think, Terry, nine seconds? Yeah, it's nine seconds so in the can. It. Yeah. So psh, 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 just quick you know. sprays, and if it's not working, keep spraying. <laughs> yeah, we've never had to use it, but we have it just in case. If you got children, it's good to have walkie-talkies. Keep them nearby, keep them in touch because um, children can get lost. They can get lost, especially yeah. especially in these dispersed areas. Uh, I haven't been lost, and you haven't been lost, but kids will get lost. <laughs> now, of course, you need your cooler. Everybody needs a cooler. Pack it full of ice. Yeah, so that's a medium size, I think. It's not huge. Now, now if you get bored, a lot of people get bored. They're like, oh man, it's, I don't have nothing to do. Well, you can play a game. We got just a couple of family games here. Keep the kids busy. Uh, we normally bring a game, right? We do. At least one game or just, two. Well, at least something to kind of pass the time if there's nothing else to do or you want to relax. Yeah. And if your campsite doesn't have a, a table, these little fold-away tables are great to have. This right here folds down flat. Oh, this is nice, yeah. Basically, it's, it's a pretty nice, really light. And it has room. There's two cup holders. Um, pretty strong. Really nice table, and it's pretty strong, yeah. Pretty small, but it works. And chairs, too. You want to bring chairs? Okay, so one of the newest things we just actually got, because we thought it was a good idea, was a screen room. So we got a screen room, and it's something that can help provide shade, uh, you can put it over a picnic table exactly and basically keep the bugs out while you're trying to eat because we've had issues with lots of flies and bugs everywhere yeah and you're trying to eat and it's just impossible or so, it actually is uh sun protection up yeah, to 50 50 psi absolutely a p no, whatever you call it so it's new for us we've actually yet to try it out in the camping world but right we did set it up and we really really like it um, and then if you gotta bring a chair because not always the chairs. picnic table right yeah yeah, there's always, sometimes there's no picnic table. You're, you're camping in the middle of nowhere. So you want to have your chairs, especially if you have a screen room. And you can set up something really nice to sit in. Now, what if you do have kids? Did you have a little cart that you bought that you could, like, transfer items oh, yeah. back and kids forth to no a camp? Kids. A cart is fantastic to cart everything from your car to where your, your site is, to where you're setting up. Um, this is Looks absolutely nice. amazing. You, it carries, what, 150 pounds? 150. And, and it doesn't have to be it's camouflage. Big. It's it, pretty big, so you can carry a lot of stuff. I think there's black ones and there's, um, there's different colors. red ones. We just happen to get the camo one. Not that we had to have this particular <clears throat> color. But speaking of relaxing, reading is another really good thing to do when you're out there. Um, doesn't matter what kind of book, what book, but here's is. some books by MSK Shabbat. They're, they're pretty good books. But some people like to sit down, relax, listen to the birds, and read. Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, another thing, if you guys are out there and you're tent camping and you're by a lake, you might want to bring a, a boat. So you have a boat, you have your life preservers and oars, uh, whether inflatable or hard shell. Um, you you know, you can also, instead of having games, you can have a football, you can have a frisbee. So those are things that we sometimes bring like a frisbee. We haven't brought a football though. Although we did find a football in that campsite. We, we did find one, yeah. And I sold that for $5. Yeah. <laughs> So there is um, other gaming things you can have. You can also bring your bicycles. A lot of people bring electric bikes, but uh, you know, it's like, what's, what's the purpose of an electric bike? I mean, we could, we could bring our electric scooters and do the same thing. Well, electric bikes are nice. I, that's more and more people I've seen them out there with them, so. I've seen a lot of people with those. So I, I'm good with the electric bike, that's awesome. Uh, we also have a tablecloth. Um, you can bring, it's nice to have a tablecloth when you go to campgrounds because sometimes yeah. it's a cement t uh, table. Yeah. And it or ruins your stuff, right? It's kind of dirty and you just don't want to so, it yeah. in there. So it's good to have a tablecloth with you. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk to you about a little bit about the food. Just some items, quick, quick food. I mean, everybody wants to make these extravagant meals. Well, you don't have to do that. You can just make very simple meals while you're camping. You don't have to bring a big skillet or a big pot. So here, um, there's a knife set, which we don't really use much when we go camping, but they do have little knife sets you can get. Uh, we do a lot of uh, paper plates because you can burn the plates after you're done. When you're using them, you just burn them. Burn them in the fire. A little tiny pot which for water. We also like to keep our water, our drinking water, right? Yeah. We like to keep our drinking water in containers. Yeah, so this half, is a gallon right half here. gallon container, so that's a gallon, yeah. That's a gallon. Extra toilet paper, this should have been over there. We talked about the bathroom. Yes. And some bathrooms that are in campgrounds do not have toilet paper. It's good yeah, to have a roll. Sometimes they run out. It's good to have extra. Uh, we also have skewers. If you want to skewer either hot dogs or if you want to skewer something. These are wood ones. They're made of, uh, I don't know if they're bamboo. They are bamboo. So these are bamboo. And the reason why I, I would rather have these because you just burn them when you're done. Don't throw them away. Just burn them in the fire. Yeah. Just like the paper plates. Produce less trash. So here we got our instant foods. We have um, instant, I mean, you don't have to look at the, the product name itself, but any kind of instant meal like this one here, this freeze, is for two people. I think that's a freeze dried meal. We also that's have instant um, oatmeal for the morning. We actually, we like to add what, um, walnuts, right? We, yeah, we add, yeah, walnuts and, uh, yeah, just walnuts. Walnuts and sugar. It's already got sugar in it, but walnuts to these. And they're delicious. If you don't want walnuts, you can put raisins it's, or whatever. It's a he pretty healthy breakfast, um, given it's instant, but it works for camping. Now, we also have beans. You can put beans with rice, and there's a rice packet right here. And these are pretty good rice packets. You have to mix a little bit of water and just heat it up. You don't have to boil the rice. And this is two servings, right, Terry? I think it's two servings. It's two servings, and definitely add a little bit of water. It'll be and nice. you can have this with um, chicken on the side, or I guess even a hot dog. You can have beans and hot dog right here. So you can put your hot dog with those beans. Very simple. You can also do mac and cheese. Um, we That's like pretty to, simple, yeah. Um, we put jalapenos and uh, just a can of tuna. Yeah, we sometimes we add stuff to it. it it's pretty, it's pretty yummy. And it's good. It's uh, two or three people can eat, eat that. Of course, soup. Soups are always good. They're very easy, easy to make. We like to add more vegetables than what it shows, so we'll bring along carrots and celery. Or onions and, we'll, and cut it up and... Yeah, or onions, and we we, um, we boil, and boil it first it. and then we put the, yeah. the thing in. Uh, these were ice cream at one point, and I like to the bring these because they screw on and off, and they're not going to pop open. So I use them to bring nuts and other little things. Yeah, and nuts and M&Ms or whatever you want to make your own type of uh, concoction. They're good for energy. They're good for when you're hiking. You do want to have energy food with you. Some kind of uh, protein thing. I mean, these little things can hold in a lot of different little items, even M&Ms or something. But dried apricots, dried fruit, dried anything, fruit. anything you can think of. Those are it's really nice. Again, this is just, it was ice cream. You can buy these at the freezer department in your grocery store and you just um, clean them out and then you can reuse them. And they're perfect to be used because they don't break, they stack easily. Yeah, that's stack. nice. So that's the good thing about these. They stack and they're perfect for things like that. 
there'll be times when you are at a campsite and there's no water. So we usually bring like um, vinegar bottles, either the gallon or half gallon of vinegar. It's what is it? White vinegar? Yeah, but we don't bring the we we yeah, empty the vinegar. Empty, yeah. We, yeah, empty bottles. So we use them because they have a screw on cap. And we fill it with tap water and we'll use that for brushing our teeth and washing our yeah, face. Wash water, yeah. That's if we don't have the sink with us. Exactly. So if we have the sink, we don't bring the gallons. We just fill up the tank down below. And same with the toilet, you can fill up the tank. So yeah. the toilet and the sink both have tanks where you can fill them up with water and you don't have to bring gallons gallons of it. They're really neat. But if you can't fit them in the car, just bring gallons of wash water. This is mainly just for tent campers. I mean, uh, you won't need to have all this stuff when you're in a trailer or a motorhome, which we do have a motorhome and we do have a trailer. Um, but we do occasionally like to tent camp and sometimes it's the easiest option instead of lugging a huge trailer with you. Yeah, if you're going up giant mountain passes or just it's easier without the trailer, we just like to tent camp it. And I've seen a lot of break, we see a lot of breakdown vehicles. I mean, mostly pickup trucks that are pulling these big fifth wheels. They're on the side of the road or they can't make it up the mountain. Um, it's just silly to, to even think about uh, a huge trailer to go camping in when you can do it all with just these tents. Tents are so easy. And they're Isn't pretty it? comfortable. If you get the right bedding, the right cushions, you're really comfortable. Yeah. Those are comfortable, especially if you pair it up with something like uh, we had over here. Oh. It's over there now. Yeah, pair it up with If you pair it up with a sponge on the bottom, you yeah. put the sponge on the bottom, then you put yeah. your mattress over the top, then you're looking at a more comfortable um, bedding. Yeah. And then you put your sheet or your sleeping bag. Again, we only usually use the sleeping bag when we go to cold, cold areas. Yeah. If it's, if it's just uh, like it is today, it's beautiful, sunny, but. It's nice. Okay, so we showed you one stove that we have. We also have another stove that has two burners. It's a Coleman, it's a green one. Everybody knows the green Coleman stoves. So we have one of those too that we use tent camping. But this is one that we bought for our A-liner. Yeah. Because the A-liner, you know, we most likely would just need one burner. If we need two, who cares? But it's a nice little stove. Uh, I don't know what the manufacturer is, but you can look online. They, they, you buy these all over. Home Depot has these. But you can put a butane burner on this and it also uses uh, the propane tank like this. Yeah, which we prefer. Which I do prefer because these can be refilled. Um, I prefer the two or three gallon tank of propane which actually attaches to this also. Um, that'll be something in the future. Uh, you can see the brand name there, it's a gas one. Uh, and it comes in this nice little carrying case. I like that because of that. And this just usually sits in our, like he said. The, It'll be under the seat in the, in, the, in the trailer. While the green one and the small one we have in there, we use those a lot. And they, um, believe it or not, that little, that little single burner, it heats up fast. This one here heats up quick too. Do we use this already? We haven't used it, but we've tested it and it's really hot. This, I can't wait to actually. It's a scary it, flame. But it's gonna be fun when we do. So all of you Arizonans, all of you people around the United States and possibly the world, go out there and tent camp, have fun. Don't leave a bunch of trash behind when you can burn your trash. Most trash can be burned. Or take it back home with you. Take it back home with you. Otherwise, have a safe trip. Yeah. Enjoy.